This truck from Robertson Creek Hatchery might be backing up. But this new salmon project in the Alberni Valley is actually taking a big step forward. We're so excited to see it kind of coming to fruition. So what net pens do is they allow the salmon time to osmoregulate when they get into the water. And uh, Department of Fisheries and Oceans thinks there's a good potential for doing that kind of project here. So what we'll do over the next um, few weeks here is hold the fish in this pen. We'll be monitoring their progress. And then when they're ready to go out to the ocean, we'll release them. And we're hoping to do more projects like this in the future, potentially with um, the city and the Port Authority and other groups that have offered to be involved. Okay, here they go. So with this being the first net pen project in the Alberni Valley, you could say that these baby Chinook have now become guinea pigs, so to speak. This is a test because the oxygen, uh, the dissolved oxygen in the water, the salinity and the temperature are all important to these fry. And if we get anything wrong, we could, uh, we could be losing these fish. So uh, we're hoping not to, and we're hoping that they survive. And it's a good test for next year and beyond. And given that salmon are a keystone creature that benefit the entire local ecosystem, these little net pin Chinook have a lot of pressure on their fins. My hope for the Alberni Valley is that we have fish like, you know, coming back Roger, Dry Creek, it sucks us. Like, I want fish to be like coming back into every tributary and and uh, watching them, you know, and knowing that they're healthy and that we can rely on them as a resource and that, you know, they can rely on us to look after them. And uh, if we have healthy salmon populations, we know we have a healthy ecosystem. For more information or to get involved with more West Coast aquatic projects, visit their webpage or give Sheena a call. In Port Alberni, I'm Jenny Fortin.